It has one of the toughest and longest lockdowns in the world. But the ultra-strict quarantine measures have left more than 5 million Filipinos hungry. <laughs> Urban poverty is a standard based on a minimum amount of income needed to sustain a healthy and minimally comfortable life, and as a relative standard that is set based on the standard of living in a nation. Urban poverty as defined by the Asian Development Bank is beyond the deficiency of income or consumption. Rather, it has many dimensions relating to the vulnerability of the poor, such as inadequate access to land and housing, physical infrastructure and services, livelihood sources, health and education facilities, and empowerment. How did the percentage of urban poor went up through the years here in the Philippines? According to the Asian Development Bank, in 2012, urban poverty rate for Philippines was 13%. Urban poverty rate of Philippines increased from 12.6% in 2006 to 13% in 2012, growing at an average annual rate of 1.59%. Now, according to the data RAP provided, the percentage of Filipinos who were involuntarily hungry in May 2020, that is 16.7 or 4.2 million families, almost doubled since December 2019, or 8.8%, .8%. that is around 2.1 million families. This is the highest the number has been since September 2014, or 22.8% or 4.8 million families. Now, for the reasons why urban poverty is one of the biggest problems we are encountering now here in the Philippines, we will discuss these problems one by one. Urban poverty on poor quality housing. Urban poverty can come in many different ways, such as the poor quality of housing that many people have. These homes lack the safety of their own health, it does not have a clean water supply, and sometimes it is too overcrowded for them to keep a clean environment. Another cause of urban poverty is the difficulty in accessing government schools. This is a cause of urban poverty because some people just don't have the sufficient amount of resources or money to get into a government school. If plenty of people already struggle getting common necessities like food, water, or clothing, and even a home, it would be very difficult for people and students to access government schools. Uncontrolled migration, or more commonly known as illegal immigration, is a foreign person living in a country without having official permission to live in said country. Being an illegal immigrant tend to have the possibility of being homeless and jobless in the country they are staying in, thus resulting to them being in a state of poverty. Another cause of urban poverty is the lack of alternative health care from private hospitals. The urban poor is about being dependent on government-supplied healthcare in which we are getting from public hospitals and health centers, of which accessibility is low because of the limited capacity over the population. The lack of job opportunities and wages are causes of urban poverty. The urban poor face limited access to shelter, education, health, services, and often pay higher prices for essentials than others. Therefore, urban households need more job opportunities and wages to have access to basic amenities, health care, and many more. Urban poverty is one of the biggest problems our country faces until now. And here are some possible ways we can do to help reduce poverty here in the Philippines. One example is to make housing more affordable for people. There are two ways to make housing cheaper. 
by making it smaller or by using cheaper material methods. Making jobs in the rural areas of the Philippines. One of the main reasons why urban poverty keeps increasing is because the people don't have the opportunity to get better jobs. The poor simply do not have access to the common goods. But if more people will have better jobs, more people will have better lives. And if the goods and services are properly delivered, all of us will benefit and our big population will be a big help to this economy. Removing Corrupt Politician Corruption is not just about bribes when resources are wasted, especially the poor get hurt. Therefore, to develop wise answer, it is important to recognize the various form of corruption. Voters can no longer be influenced by the song and dance number of corrupt politician. Having equality. Having equality is but the best and most difficult solution to poverty. Having equality means to treat every single individual fairly and justly, to make sure everyone makes enough money in order to have a reasonable living. This solution, however, needs the cooperation of every single person. So with this urban poverty still happening, the government thought of a plan to help improve basic services here in the Philippines. And first on their list is to demonstrate sensitivity to the needs of vulnerable and marginalized sectors of the society. And lastly, to make sure that the funds of these services are secured and well distributed to provide the needs of everyone. We have learned that poverty is not having the means to afford any of the basic necessities like food, water, shelter, and many others. Poverty is killing the population slowly and us as citizens must take action of it. As students, we should learn to treat each other equally. Nowadays, they are treated like outcasts and that is not what we should treat them. We should treat them as equal as ourselves. And this is Group A and thank you for listening.